Hi, in this video, we are going to see the results of this MATLAB, MATLAB program that is uh, that I have written to plot shear force bending moment diagrams and also the slope variation and the displacement of the beam. Um, basically, a uh, simply supported beam that is subjected to various kind of loads like point loads, uniformly distributed loads, external moments. Currently, uh, we are uh, solving a very simple specific class of the problem but in the uh, in the future i'm going to enrich this code by adding more uh, modules so that uh, handling any kind of distributed load or solving uh, statically indeterminate beams so currently it solves just simply supported beams okay so let's see uh, how this code works we first specify the length of the beam then we specify the point loads okay so in this p matrix we have uh, each row represent a particular uh, particular point load so the first entry is the location and the second entry is the magnitude so in this example we have two point loads at location point one and one with the uh, magnitude represented uh, which is 10 kilometers and 50 kilometers respectively the this matrix u matrix stores the values or the data for the uniformly distributed load the so the point two is the starting point point eight is the uh, ending point that is to and from so you will start from two and ends at point eight and its magnitude is 100 kilonewtons per meter similarly we have another util here okay so the next information is the location of the supports so we have two supports we are which are 0 and 0 0.8 uh, so what we have assumed is that uh, one of the support is on general fixed pin support and another one is uh, a roller support so that the problem doesn't become statically indeterminate we are going to handle those problems in future so the external talk here it is represented or stored in t matrix which is location and its value in newton meters another one another information is the properties the material properties in the cross, cross section properties so as to evaluate the deflection so all this data we store in this data in matrix data in cell okay here we are stored uh, note that in the data in 4 we are using this function as fbm reaction okay this which takes input the data in cell itself and uh, it evaluates as fbm reaction i'll just give you a glimpse of this function so this is the core algorithm for this and uh, i'll explain how this thing works in the next video uh, okay so yeah finally we evaluate all the required things like shear force bending moment deflection and the slopes using this function as fpm eval and which outputs this another cell data out uh, so this is this function as fpm eval which takes input data in and gives output data out which contains these values shear force bending moment theta y and the axis is all the uh, uh, values of x at which we have evaluated these values currently i'm using 1000 x's i guess 1000 or 2000 x's 2000 x's this is the number of divisions uh, along throughout the span okay once we have the uh, values of our shear was running on all we plot them using this function which takes input data and it output as the input variables so let's try to run this code okay so this is a plot for shear force and bending moment this is our problem schematic so we had two loads and and we had two point loads applied at these two locations one and i think i guess this is point two and these uh, blue arrows represent the supports and this brown arrows slightly red arrows represents the external loads external point loads 
this blue arrow arc arc arrow is the external moment and this green boxes represent the we are uniformly distributed load. So this is the shear force diagram. This is the bending moment diagram. You can, as you can see, there is a discontinuity at these location for the shear force because of the point loads. Okay, and uh, there is discontinuity in the bending moment diagram for a uh, external bending moment. Also, you can see where the shear force is zero. We get a, a stationary point for the moment okay and also you can see from this plot that at all the supports at at the support there is no bending moment and at the free end there is no bending moment okay uh, let's see the deflection plots now yeah this is the slope variation this is the displacement of the beam so this is how the result of this problem looks you can play with the problem you can change it let's remove this load one of the load and uh, let's add uh, let's change the location of support to say 0.5 and let's add another moment at the location one whose magnitude is minus 82 Minus 58, okay, fine. So let's solve this problem again. Okay, so we just now have single uh, single load, point load here, uh, moment here. And this is how the variation looks like. And this is how the deflection would look like. Reflection should be zero at supports which is which it is and uh, yeah so so in the next videos i'll be going to discuss how to implement this uh, we'll see first how to evaluate the, re evaluate the reactions then we'll move towards re evaluating the shear force bending moment theta and uh, the uh, slopes uh, and deflection uh, using singularity functions. Okay, thanks for watching.